we fostered a number of children. I mean, we've had some of them longer term, but um, we got a phone call on the 12th of December. My husband called me and he said, we've had a phone call, there's an eight-year-old boy. His placement's broken down, they need a placement for him today. They said, he's difficult, but if we say no, he's probably gonna have to go into residential, but there's no pressure. I said, so what did you say? He said, he's getting here at three. I can still remember he'd been with us for three years and um, he'd had a, I'm going to get rid of he had a really bad day and he'd spent his whole day smashing up his bedroom and punching me and telling me how much he really hated me. It must have gone on for about eight hours and I was sitting on the floor in his bedroom, his bedroom was trashed and he was sat between my legs and I was just holding him so he couldn't hurt himself and he was crying and I was crying and I said to him, baby you're not going anywhere and he said why? I said because I love you. And he turned around and he looked at me and he said, you're my mum now. And that was it. Support has always been good and, and, and this is why we chose ISP in the first place. I know that there is somebody there 24-7. Um, there is always somebody, even if it's not my particular fostering advisor, there are others who will know who we are and know our children. So there is always support. It's not one size fits all. It's that's the whole therapeutic part is they will find what is right for that child and for that family to support that child to go through life in a much more positive way. I think ISP have kept their identity and that makes me feel very proud that they are a truly therapeutic organisation without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, I'm proud to be part of ISP. I'm proud um, that I'm part of you know, the therapeutic side, the, the caring for children, you know, what they believe in, um, the ethos of the organisation. And, um, you know, I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't work for anybody else. And I always recommend ISP. The fact that they're still going 35 years later, I think, is, is speaks volumes. I would love to know the amount of children, like an exact number of the amount of children, whose lives ISP have touched, whether it's been for a long-term placement, sometimes a child could just be placed in ISP for a few weeks, but it will make a difference to their lives. ISP is special in lots and lots of ways. It's, it is part, for me, the therapy, the therapeutic input, but for me it's also about, it's a community, and everybody works really, really closely to support foster parents, and the children that, w that we look after. And we know that it sometimes does take the ISP community to, to raise a child. That's one of the strengths of ISP, is that they really do transform children's lives.